everybody welcome to YS Kong driving and uh, today we are in a car that a lot of people are waiting for the pro possibly the most anticipated launch of 2021 and it's also one of the earliest launches yeah and uh, we are actually a few days before the launch and the video is embargoed until the day of the launch so here goes well we are in the Corolla Cross and we are on our way to check out the car this is my first time in the car and with me is my drive partner for the day Mr. Yap Kam Fu say hi Mr. Yap Kam Fu hi everybody I'm Kam Fu and Kam Fu is with uh, Fu Throttle F-O-O -O, Throttle yes go to YouTube and key in Fu Throttle and you'll see Yap Kam Fu and uh, Kam Fu is a race driver and he is very good with cars and uh, well his channel is in Cantonese you go let out tank Kong Fu Wale let out tank Yap Kam Fu so Uncle Wise Guy Silver, come on, or to join YouTube link, do you have a fan a Facebook fan page? Do I young full trotter? So they do want to move around. Okay, so back to the car. Now this is called a Corolla Cross because it's based on the Corolla. So a lot of things you see in the car are gonna be very familiar. And it is uh, just for your knowledge, it's a little bit shorter, but it's higher and wider. So there's a lot more space for you. It is actually a SUV or what you call a crossover. That means you are crossing over from a car to an SUV. And this is what the Corolla Cross is about. You have a 1.8 liter engine with a seven speed uh, v uh, CVT. CVT, sorry. Okay, you have a 1.8 liter uh, double overhead cam engine with dual VVTi and a uh, seven speed CVT which is uh, possibly identical to the one in the Corolla but maybe they have got some gear ratios change here and there now uh, from what I know of uh, conversions from or rather adaptations from sedan to CVT they actually do shorten the wheelbase a little bit so from a 2.7 meter or 2700 mm wheelbase they have shortened it to 2640 and that is to ensure that the corolla cross handles just as well as the corolla now the other piece of good news is that the corolla cross also runs the tnga platform but there are slight differences here uh, the rear suspension is uh, with a new newly developed torsion beam I need to rush a bit okay it's with a newly developed torsion beam and it is supposed to handle well but we are going to check that out right now okay there is no sport mode and okay there's an electrical seat controller for the driver and we are now just checking it out and seriously this is my first four kilometers of driving this car because Kung Fu drove it from Shah Alam to here and I'm just taking it over. Okay, I'm going to go to manual and we are in third gear. Now, some of you ask why do you need to go to manual when there's a CVT and an automatic gearbox? Well, uh, manual gives you a bit more control. So it doesn't simply shift gears for you yeah so you you know what gear you're in and we are going to go up our regular test drive and of course we okay this guy is okay he's pulled down to shift down to in second gear in front is going to overtake the truck so we will just follow it through and uh, here we go okay we have three people in the car including Conway our cameraman we 
just overtook the king of the road. <laughs> Okay, we are still in second on the CVT and we're gonna cut through this corner smooth smooth take the line now you notice the there is a bit of wrong CVT because we are actually maximizing the gear but the car is actually quite silent surprisingly and uh, check out the handling because this is a handling test Let's see how it goes. Okay, these are 17 inch tires with 21560 series, and we are in, actually in the G variant. So, the G variant is a slightly lower variant than the top of the range. There are only two, I think there is G and there's V. So, the V has got uh, 18 inch wheels, uh, and, but other than that, mechanically, it's the same. So, the 18 inch wheels are a bit wider, and they are 2 to 5. These are 21560. That the V variant has got the Toyota safety sense, you know, the uh, collision pre, what do you call, uh, collision warning and uh, braking, and also it has the lane keep and lane tracing. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but uh, well, I normally don't use those stuff, and also the V version has got the dynamic radar cruise control which this one doesn't have this one just has the normal cruise control and we are taking the corner not bad and we have some traffic thank you yeah the SUV sits a bit higher than a than a sedan but Handling is still okay. We'll just have to be patient behind this driver. Okay, drive is to the front wheels, of course, huh? in case I didn't mention it. <laughs> And it's only two-wheel drive. Okay, horsepower is uh, 139, and the torque is 172 newton meters. So this is uh, about the same power as in the Corolla, I think. Just being a bit careful. Okay, there are no pedal shifters, but there is a sequential shift on the floor, and uh, of course you pull back towards you to shift down, 
and push forward to shift up. about well that was a very very smooth run don't you think yes quite good <laughs> uh, we were held back a little bit and so there's going to be one white van that's going to get a, about a minute of time on our video <laughs> <laughs> So first, your impressions for the car, Uncle S? I think it's a uh, very smooth law. Okay, it's not the fastest car in, the, in all the cars that I've driven. Okay. But uh, the purpose of this car is actually, uh, it was never made as a sports car. Mm -hmm. It was made as a car for people to drive for family. And uh, well, we are just doing a little bit extraordinary thing to it. Yeah, yeah, uh, right. We are using this road to check out the handling. And I must say that the handling is quite okay to me. And uh, so brakes are ventilated this in the front and solid this at the back. So, so far they have been very good, lah. no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Mr. Yap, what was your impression as I was driving the car? Did you feel For okay? your driving, there's no doubt. It's very good. I can see the car handle well. Even or you're hitting to the corner, the braking points. The car is very stable. And the gear shift, even you go for the CVT as a manual, mm. so it led you to hold until to the max rev RPM also, right? Yeah. Five, six thousand. I would feel the engine is struggling. Mm. It is quite smooth. And if some of them say the one point engine is not good, or maybe not enough for this car, I would say no. You yeah. should try the car. Yeah. And then you will feel that it's really good enough. Okay, so now that the traffic situation is a bit better, we are actually able to take the corners a bit faster. And I feel the car is very, very stable. very very well just remember SUV yeah. and it's torsion beam in the rear but the car is actually quite good no look at it go okay one thing I will say about this car is really really comfortable it feels uh, very nice uh, can we at the back? How do you feel? Very, very comfortable. Yeah, it lo looks like the TNGA platform even works, you know, even with the. Yeah. They got the very good platform and yeah. the very nice. Even with the torsion beam. Look at it go, man. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> was good man okay there's a impressive impressive bit of working people here <laughs> they still have to work yeah I like how it soaks up a lot of the, the yeah it soaks up the bump so yeah. well huh?
that up by yourself. <laughs> of bricks still very good okay so the new CVTs are so much better you can actually feel the gear change yeah okay still okay the brakes are still okay because usually by here it gets hot already. And for this one, we didn't stop at the top of the hill to cool down the car, you know, we just came down straight away. And these are 60 series tires. Uh, in these days, 60 series tires are considered like balloons. But they're still holding very well. If not mistaken, I think they're using the Bridgestone LSS tires. Is it? Yeah. So it's one of the SUV tires series. Huh? Mm. <laughs> so they are not really made for performance. No. Okay, the brakes are a little bit hot now uh, because because there are three of us in the car yeah. so the braking is a bit heavier but I think it should be acceptable yeah but it's acceptable but right now it's okay because uh, I'm just letting it cool down a bit yeah so for high speed driving downhill try to use as little brakes as possible that means you brake hard let go Okay, so now we're at the bottom of the hill and we're going to do a little bit of a wrap up. Okay, so far what I found about the car is it's very nice and it's very good for family use. Yes, it's not a race car, but it's very, very comfortable. The most impressive thing about this car is when you go around the bends, it still is very comfortable. So I don't know what is the secret, but according to Toyota, it's in the TNGA platform. And so far, we have tested the Camry, we have tested the CHR, we have tested the Altis, you know, and now we have tested this one. So the TNGA platform, as far as I'm concerned, works. All right, guys, so thanks for being with us. And uh, this is our presentation on the Corolla Cross. Alright, so till we meet again, bye-bye.